down today's coffee menu for the housewarming party. Pretty stressful, but we did it! I have a really bad handwriting, but last night Billy told me a trick to combat that. So what I did was I found a font that I like through the font dot com and then I would put the wordings on the custom preview. I screenshot that and then I just put it below the paper. I also use blue tag so that the paper won't slide around and then just trace the wording down. This would be easier if the paper is thinner and the room is dark, but yeah, that's actually a work tip. I think this one is ready and I'm gonna put it up in the wall. Now we can just cover them and then leave it to room temperature. Trying to tell people not to bring stuff. <laughs> yes, this is yes. perfect! Oh, that's so true! Oh, this is really nice. Oh, that's so beautiful! Masuk dong, Mac. Masuk dong. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, I don't have much footage of when I made coffee for everyone because I simply couldn't multitask. Making coffee at home is already much slower than in a coffee shop, so I decided to put down my camera for a bit and just focus on making as many drinks as I could while also mingling with my friends. Luckily, my friends shared the photos and videos they took that day and I'm glad that I can use them for this vlog. In total, I served 4 espresso based coffees, 1 pour over and 2 matchas for my friends. Thankfully, I didn't get any complaint so hopefully they enjoyed it. And I wasn't the only one making coffee by the way. Meg did make her second coffee herself and Billy also made a special coffee for Subi who's actually not a coffee drinker at all. It was pretty hilarious how it went down so I'll let you guys watch for yourself. We don't need to make the whole cake. We don't need to make the whole cake. It's not a shot. It's supposed to be a shot. Drink this through like a long time. It was the room temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it just getting a colder fun even? No, no. No, no. It'll be alright. It's done now. Amen. Thank you. It's called the coffee. Does it finish? Yeah. It's with the. But I respected your latte so much. <laughs> Represent every size and shape. You can have every every size. <laughs> I don't know. You <laughs> it's working, you reckon? Because yeah. I needed this one like so much. Yeah. So it's like really springy. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> 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 
This dough is the one I needed like too much. The Aussie dough. He's gonna push it. Oh, really? He's so right here. Yeah. This should be live stream. Fresh pizza. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I gotta flip it so that this side will be on the side. Oh. It's gonna all break apart. This will do it. After successfully making a couple of pizzas, Billy asked if anyone wanted to try making their own. Surprisingly, almost everyone joined in and got a taste of creating their own version of the dish. We had not planned on it, by the way, but it just seemed like a fun experience for everyone. And I think we weren't wrong. After Billy, Tiff made one, and then Meg made one, and it just snowballed. Dushan made one, Ambrose made one, and even Subi made one too. This actually wasn't the first time we let people cook with us. At our first housewarming party in the apartment five years ago, we made dumplings from scratch. So yeah, although both of our housewarming parties seemed like we were unprepared, I'm glad they turned out the way they did. I guess above all, we valued the time we spent together and the memories we shared with our friends. Anyway, since the party started around noon and some of our friends still had work the next day, we thought people would start leaving after lunch. But it turned out, everyone stayed longer and I finally had my turn making my pizza. Which, almost setting myself on fire, here's how it went down. Okay, now the framing is great, now the framing is great. So you are ready. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> oh no! Whoa! You got it, you got it. Wow, that looks so good. <gasps> it's okay. Oh. Oh. It was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. Oh my god, what if it like catches on my head? <laughs> How was it doing? Don't Can't be too hard on yourself. Oh, oh, <laughs> I was getting nervous because we're close. Oh, it's right there. Yes. I can see it. There's a square here. Yeah. I think those are your fingers. No, yeah, man. But what is that? Yeah, it's like one, two, three. Like, why is it like that? <laughs> Press of videos. So. <laughs> we need to do selfies with friends. We all take selfies from all four and we put them all together. Oh. Yes. Come on. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. It was like this. Oh, you do half the longest arm. <laughs> That's the <laughs> matter. I did the Asian face. What was that? What's the Asian face, bro? I did my eyes. <laughs> Wow. Linda, good. we're we're interviewing you right now. My funny man. My funny man. Jerry. 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 And we just pour this tea like this. Gosh. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We're good. It's done. We good. Bro, if Linda beat me, I'm gonna fucking lose yeah. her, bro. What? Oh, they got Sorry. No, that was so close! What? The hell no! <laughs> I 
last night was certainly one of the highlights of this year. I think what made it special was not only that our friends spare their holiday time and come here to celebrate with us, but also because a few of our friends who are already moving out from Melbourne, Ambrose was actually moving to the United States. He was coincidentally visiting and Subi and Mona who are living in Canberra were also coming down to Melbourne and it just felt like everything were falling into the right places. Look at this beautiful Monstera. Dushan and Xuan gave this to us. I just can't. I've been wanting to get a Monstera and this is just perfect. <laughs> And by the way, this lily plant is also a housewarming gift from Doshan when we just moved to our apartment in 2019 and we brought it here. It's still alive. I think the next time that we move, we're probably gonna get another plant from Doshan and all of the plants that is in here is gonna be from him. <laughs> I think I finished cleaning up by 2 a.m. last night. Billy was gone. He drank too much. I also texted everyone who came and said thank you for coming and also for all this stuff that they brought for us. They gave us a gift. People are just so nice. I really hope that they had a good time because I sure did. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you also enjoyed the video. I'll see you next week. Bye -bye. Mm.